Well, hey friends, and welcome back. Today, I want to share with you what I packed for a two week trip to Europe. And starting out, I like to begin with figuring out what clothing I'll need while I'm away. The way I like to do this is by creating a sort of mini travel capsule wardrobe of versatile clothing items that can mix and match together seamlessly. So because of that, I end up packing a lot of basics and a lot of neutrals, but I do like to throw in a couple of colors just to spice things up a bit. Of course, I always like to check the weather forecast just to make sure that what I'm packing will be seasonally appropriate. Then once I've picked out all of my clothing for the trip, I next like to spend some time just neatly folding everything. I'm not really a packing keeps person. I've tried them before. They just aren't for me. So what I like to do instead is kind of a combination between rolling my clothing and folding them. In a lot of ways, it's similar to the Kanmari method of folding, but basically what I try to do is just to fold every single one of my clothing items into a basic brick shape. I find that there are a couple big benefits to doing it this way. Number one, I just find that it makes packing easier because all of your clothing items end up being a similar shape and size. It also allows you to store all of your clothing vertically. So when you open up your suitcase, you can just at a glance, see everything that you have. I find that really convenient. And then finally, I find that it just naturally helps to reduce wrinkles, which especially when traveling is always a win in my books. Then as I finish with a group of items, I'll just put them in my suitcase. What I love about this folding technique too is that it allows you to be able to, as you are traveling, remove items from your suitcase and make it so that you know the moment you take one thing out, your suitcase doesn't become a disorganized mess because everything just stays upright. I will say this was a more challenging trip to pack for because the weather while we were away was definitely on the chillier side. So I tried to plan accordingly, packing plenty of items that could layer up well. So for the two weeks that we were in Europe, we went to England, France, and Ireland. I packed two t-shirts, two long sleeve shirts, a flannel, four sweaters, one of which I did plan to wear on the plane. A pair of leggings, two pairs of jeans, one black and one blue, a pair of trousers, one rain jacket, a pair of athletic shorts I plan to sleep in, and a bathing suit. And all of that clothing, minus my airport outfit and one sweater I save for later, fit seamlessly into the left side of my suitcase. Then I turned my attention to my other essentials, starting with undergarments. I packed all the underwear, socks, and bras that I would need for the trip, along with a thermal layer and a couple makeup removing pads. Now I did plan to do laundry once at the halfway point of our trip, so I just packed enough undergarments to last me for seven days, plus a spare of everything just in case. I just packed everything into this zippered cloth bag, and when I'm on the go, I just find it really convenient to have all of my undergarments in one place like this. And then apart from my hiking boots, which I plan to wear on the plane, that's a little tip, is always wear your biggest pair of shoes. I also packed this cream pair of sneakers, which I plan to wear for the days where we were kind of touring around the city and walking a lot. I find them really comfortable. Then I also packed just a simple pair of flip-flops to act as shower shoes. I just packed both pairs of shoes in these cotton produce bags so that they wouldn't make anything else in my suitcase dirty. Then for toiletries, I just brought my makeup bag, which if you want to see what's inside of this, I will link to my makeup collection in the description box below. But to it, I just added my deodorant, a black scrunchie, my travel size razor, and a pair of nail clippers. And all of that fit with plenty of room to spare, and this is just one of those things that I like to do to maximize the storage space in my suitcase. Then I started putting together the liquids that I'd need. So I got out my shampoo and conditioner, some heat protectant spray, salt spray, body wash, micellar water for removing makeup, moisturizer, perfume, and toothpaste. Now I just packed all of that into this little TSA approved travel bag. This bag really is one of my favorite travel essentials. I love how sturdy it is. Oh, and then of course I also packed my toothbrush. And for jewelry, because I was bringing a lot of basics on the trip, I wanted to just be able to spice things up a little bit with a bit of jewelry. So I packed two necklaces, a couple pairs of earrings, as well as a few rings to bring with me. I just put all of those into this little pouch that I find is perfect for traveling. 
then with all of my little bags and bundles ready to go i just started laying everything out so i could begin packing the other side of my suitcase i like being able just to see everything that i have visually just to make sure i'm not forgetting anything but then to everything that we'd packed already i just added a little beanie my makeup palette and then also my curling iron then I just began putting everything in the suitcase. This definitely is the harder side of the suitcase to pack, but I like to think of it a bit like a puzzle and just kind of trying to find the perfect spot for everything. I usually like to begin just with putting some of the larger pieces in first and then filling in any gaps or cracks that we may have with some of the smaller items. And sometimes this part does take a bit of playing around with, but this time it really all came together perfectly. Then I just zipped up my suitcase and put it aside so that I could begin packing my personal item. My go-to for trips like this is this backpack from ISM. I've had it for years now and I love how it has just kind of the perfect amount of space. So I just started with sliding in my laptop into the dedicated laptop compartment. And then I set that aside and began just preparing, like with my suitcase, some of the smaller items I'd need. So into this little coach wristlet, I just slid in my wallet and passport. This is something that I love just being able to take out whenever I'm actively traveling, like at the airport, something like that. It's nice to have my passport handy. Then I also like to pack a little electronics and cords bag. So in that, I just put my laptop charger, my phone charger, and my AirPods. These are all really helpful to have with me while I'm flying, so I like to keep them in my personal item. Then I also brought my film camera and a couple of rolls of film so that I could take just some really fun film photos on our trip. And something I've started doing more recently is keeping a little zippered pouch packed with all of my daily essentials, so things like my hand sanitizer, hand cream, lip gloss, lip balm, medicine, a couple bobby pins, a nail file, pen and tied to go pen. I just keep them packed in this little zippered pouch and it's really nice when I'm flying or just going about as I'm traveling or at home living my life too. I use it then as well just to have all my essentials just really easily accessible and in one place. And as with the suitcase, again, I just like to lay everything out, starting with some of the pouches and little bags that we've already packed. But then to that, I added a tote that I plan to use as a purse during our trip, my reusable water bottle so I could easily stay hydrated, a book I'm currently reading, The Guest List. Then I also brought just a little Ziploc bag containing my daily vitamins, some medicine, my lactate pills, an eye mask for sleeping, a little hair clip. Then in case you missed the announcement, I'm pregnant right now, so I made sure to bring some snacks for the plane and my universal adapter. Then it was time to start filling up the backpack and I just slid the little wristlet containing my passport in this inner zippered pocket. That way I just have a little extra layer of protection while on the go. And then I started sliding in some of the larger items that I wanted to sit on the bottom. So things like my water bottle, the electronics bag, that little pouch of daily essentials. And then I just lay some of the lighter or more delicate items on top. And of course, I just put the snacks at the top so I would have easy access to them. Then last but not least, in the little pocket at the front, I just stored some of the smaller loose items I had, like my lactate pills, daily vitamins, and eye masks. That way they'd be in their own area and not just causing a mess in my backpack. Well, with that, my backpack was packed, so I just put that beside my carry-on suitcase so it would be ready for my flight the next morning. I also laid out my airport outfit so I'd be prepared. I just wore a sweater and pair of leggings and my hiking boots. That's everything that I packed to travel carry on only for two weeks in Europe. I hope that this gave you some packing ideas and inspiration on perhaps how to pack less or more efficiently when traveling. And as always, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one, friends. Happy travels!